When wrinkles appear, most of us just accept them as part of the aging process, while some others say, hey, it's just time for a facelift. Tonight, our health editor, Dr. Howard Torman, tells us about a new alternative. We're all ears or all faces? Faces, or, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and sometimes it seems like we're living in the land of sun, sea, and, yes, plastic surgery. And one of the more common cosmetic surgical procedures that gets done in Southern California is the facelift. But many women, especially relatively younger women, say in their late 30s or early 50s, aren't always satisfied with the results. Well, now there's a new alternative to the traditional facelift. It's been developed by a local surgeon, and it gives a very aesthetically pleasing result. I had noticed that I was starting to maybe droop a little bit, a little bit of um, indentation in this area. I was looking to achieve a higher cheekbone structure had um, a flat surface of the face. These women are separated by a few years in age, yet they both recently had the same cosmetic surgical procedure. Make a little incision in the upper gum area here. Called submalar augmentation, it's a facelift alternative. The procedure uses soft stylastic implants that are surgically placed high inside of the cheek. What this does is it fills out it restores the vibrancy and the youthfulness of the of this part of the face and it uh... it produces that fullness that that we had when we were young the whole thing is done through a small incision on the inside of the lip and it takes only about forty five minutes to do the procedure is not only easy surgically uh... but the uh, recovery time is relatively short the problems postoperatively are almost nil uh, and uh, same goes for complications. Still, while the implants may make perfect sense for someone like Diane, who was looking for a more youthful appearance, why would someone as young as Tina need it? Well, as a model, Tina thought the operation would help her professionally by giving her more prominent cheekbones. Without the surgery, I would have never have been able to photograph the same. It, um, it, was, it looks very natural. Your face for that type of business is what you're selling. Sometimes patients who have had plastic surgery are disappointed with the results, but not in this case. Well, I feel great. Um, I felt good about myself before, and now I feel even better. And I notice the looks, and maybe a whistle or two. Makes me feel more confident when I'm in front of the camera. Um, I know what what the results are going to be when I look at the pictures, that they're going to be um, what I want to see. And one reasonable approach is to delay getting the traditional facelift as long as possible to the time when it'll actually do you the most good, and in the meantime, have this submalar augmentation, the procedure we've been talking about. Instead, it'll fill in those areas around the cheeks without giving you that very tight, pulled back look that sometimes comes from a facelift. Patients call it looking like you're wearing a mask especially when the facelift has been done inappropriately. And by the way, the cost of this whole thing is about a third of that of a regular facelift. thought I'd show you what this little appliance looks like. This thing is actually mounted on the bone. It's dissected underneath the cheek and then goes up, actually sits on the cheek on top of the bone underneath the skin really enhances the appearance very nicely. It very looks natural. flexible there, but uh, when, the, when the skin loses mm -hmm. elasticity as uh, the years progress, would you then feel the edges of that? Well, no. Actually, one of the real benefits of this compared to, say, some of the other things that have been tried is that it's put in a place where there's adequate tissue over it so the tissue doesn't, so the normal skin and so forth doesn't thin out around it. It forms a little pocket, and it really looks exactly like bone under there. You wouldn't notice any more than you notice your normal bones underneath your side of your face. It's still a surgical procedure. It's Absolutely. no small matter. Right. Every bit of surgery is serious, but this is at least a little bit more appealing than, say, the regular facelift. All right. Thanks a lot, Howard. Okay.